Okay, this is about September. So I know you all got your freedoms and you don't want to wear a mask and you don't want to get vaccinated. That's fine, do whatever the hell you want. But I'm just telling you, the beginning of September, Mars in Virgo. Mars rules fever. Virgo rules your health. Mars is going to oppose Neptune in Pisces. Neptune in Pisces is the poster child for mysterious viruses. I'm just telling you, do whatever the hell you want. Okay, Aries. Okay, this month is going to be all about a new routine for you. You're cleaning up your workspace or where you live or where, you know, just trying to get it out of the same old rut. It's something new that you want to do. And you're going to be taking care of your health as well. Like, you know, starting to exercise, take a walk, do something like that. Taurus. Oh, God, you may not have a million dollars in the bank, but you are a person of worth. Okay? You may have to hear that from your friends because you're, you're going through a period when you don't value yourself and you need, really need to value yourself because you are. You're okay, Taurus. You're okay. Gemini, boy, it's something about being very, very, very private now. You're on your home turf in your private space. I mean, you're still curious and out there and talking to everybody, but you just want that time in your own space, okay? Okay, Cancer, oh boy, you are so busy. You're, you're having lots of conversations and you're scooting around town here and there, here and there. That's okay with you. You like to be busy. Okay, Leo, stop, 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 Leo. What's important to you? What is important to you? You're running around like a nut over here and you're just doing everything. What do you value? That's your, you know, find that out and then take your next steps, okay? Virgo, okay, it's a Virgo new, new, new you time because new moon in Virgo is all, it's your, your personal new moon. It's time for a change. It could be something as simple as a change in your haircut, but you're changing. Or you're gonna plant a seed that's going to flower into a big change, maybe six months from now. Okay, Libra. Oh my God, Libra, you are, it's, you're t it's time for you to listen to your inner self. You're so busy socializing, talking to everybody else. Listen to what your little inner voice is saying and go from there, okay? Scorpio. Oh, I love you, Scorpio. This is the time that you're going to make and use all your connections. You've got a vast field of them. And you're going to utilize that, okay? Because we're coming out of this, uh, uh, you know, um, enforced isolation. Now you're getting out there, okay? Sagittarius. Oh, Sag you're another one I love. Who's the boss here, huh? Who is the boss? You're the boss. Remember that. You, you are the captain of your own ship. Got it? Capricorn. Oh, God, you have a lot going on, Capricorn. But so you need to get out of your head, okay? Just get out of your head and just go do something, okay? You Don't worry, just get out of your head. You're thinking of things too much, okay? Whoa, Aquarius, okay. Yo, feelings, feelings, feelings. Whose feelings, huh? They're yours. You're not used to that stuff. You don't like to get that touchy-feely crap, you know what I mean? But you need to pay attention to your feelings, all right? Pisces, oh God, people, people, people. Some of, them are, some of them are bugging you and the others are hugging you. <laughs> You're getting to the point where you can't stand any of them. That's all right, Pisces. Just figure it out. Be calm and be cool. Okay? And that is the end of September. See you next time. Start. Start. Two. One. Boost your ignition. And lift off of the space shuttle Discovery. Returning to the space station. Taking the way from...